So we're looking at the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 3, 1, minus 1, minus lambda. Okay. I think everybody can see the leading term, of course, is lambda squared. All right, what's the, uh, what's the middle term? Zero. It's zero because we have a plus and a minus one, right? All right, so we get no lambda. All right, then down this diagonal, we get a minus one, and this direction subtracts three. All right, so we get minus four. All right, so. What's one of the eigenvalues? Two. 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 And do lambda one equaling two. All right. So we're now, if we put two in there, put this over here as a side calculation, putting the two in there, we get minus one, three, one, minus three, xc one equaling zero. All right. So Give me a good associated eigenvector that might work there. Three, one. Three, one would be a good choice, right? How do you do that so fast? <laughs> like without solving the system, like. There's no solving. The system. Well, you could you could plug in like. <laughs> Aren't these two? Isn't this row just a constant multiple of this one? Yeah. It always has to be, doesn't it? It has to be for it to be an eigenvector. Or I can go. So you can forget about this, you only have to look at that first row. Take one of them be equal, be equal to one. How about putting one over here? We would get three, we would get three there, right? So three one works just fine. Okay? Now, the other eigenvalue. What's what? Negative two. It's minus two. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so if we put minus two in here, we put minus two in here, don't we get three, three, one, uh, one? Notice again, the rows, the one row is just a constant multiple of the other row. Again, if you don't have that happening, you fail to find an eigenvalue. So, what would be a nice eigenvector for this? Maybe one minus one. Why not do one minus one? Oh. I just want to cause trouble for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, obviously you're right if you do either one small. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we then of course now have our solution. X of t is going to be equal to uh, c1. 3, 1, e to the 2t plus a c2, uh, 1 minus 1, e to the minus 2t, right? Okay. Now, let's draw this. Erase this on a little bit higher up. Okay, this 3, 1 vector, where would it point? Point slight slope there, 3 out in that direction, 1 out up in the, this direction. So we would have this direction like this. Let me again label that one. That's with lambda 1 equaling 2. That tells us what direction are the arrows on that eigenvector. They're pointing away from the origin. There's exponential growth. OK, what about 1 minus 1? 1 in the x direction, minus 1 in the y direction. All right, we're going to have a pi over 4 angle going on like that. That's with my lambda 2 equal. Minus two. And what direction do the arrows point on that? Towards. They're heading towards the origin. All right. Exponential decay in this direction, exponential growth over there. So if I were to start at a point, let's just say I started at a point near here, 
it's going to start by decaying in this direction, but then growing in this direction. Let's do a parallel to this eventually. If I go here, it's going to decay in this direction, then grow in this direction. So is it always going to end up parallel with the stronger? Yes. The largest eigenvalue always be the behavior positive in time, and the uh, most negative, or the smallest one, will be the one most negative time. Okay. And so then along this one, again, if I start here, Have a question on this? Uh, so we're like, I guess we're the two points kind of like equally strong, like our inflection points or our... These are not equally strong. One is growing and one's decaying. Completely different behaviors. Right? One's growing, one's decaying. Very, you know, very different. And they're both exponentials. Okay? All right. So this one is called a saddle. It's called a satellite. <clears throat> oh. right. So there's there's the behavior of this particular one. Okay. They're an opposite sign. We get what's called a saddle node, meaning it's decaying in one direction and it's growing in the other. Okay. So, any questions on that? Pretty straightforward. As you can see, this is just finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And I hope everybody agrees by now, two by twos are not too hard to do. Okay. 